What is happening viewers, this is Wee Crusader and welcome back to Slide 2, Band of Thieves. In this video we will engage another clue hunt to find all the cool bottles scattered around John Bassan's Lumberjack camp. But this time, I, our uh, discussion topic will be more, 50, uh, bleh, more facts about me, but this time I, I have them all written down so I won't be as distracted and I won't lose my train of thought as much, hopefully. Okay, to start off, my uh, favorite soda is Dr. Pepper. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, in my lifetime, I have attended eight weddings, and uh, about six of them, I was related to either the bride or the groom. <laughs> I have a big ass family. Hi. Whoa! Okay. And one of my uh, personal opinions is I think the idea of fate or destiny is completely overrated. Mm -hmm. And that's just a personal preference that's kind of developed over the years. Whoops. <laughs> my friends and I like to joke that my uh, a personal nickname of me would be uh, The Exception because I tend to do like uh, the exception of any given situation, at least most given situations, which is I think is kind of interesting. And I, apparently I can't find any damn glue bottles. <laughs> Let's not get hit by logs. Okay. Hey, I think there's one on this wire right here. Yeah. Uh, another thing is I have a profile on howlongtobeat.com. My uh, username is GameheadMainer13. You can look up all my records for the games I've done so far. I haven't done all of them, you know, because I have about 155. So, yeah, something to look at. See if you can beat my record. I think, though, on the list I have maybe 70-ish uh, records. Some of them are barely records. Maybe winning within the margin of few minutes or so. And those of you who don't know what it is, it's basically uh, you put down a time of how long it takes to beat said game within said percentage. So usually it's um, either basic, basically the story, the story and a few extras, or the full 100%. Okay, and, uh, and I think personally I think one of my uh, best records is the uh, Sly 1 record. It's probably not the best record, but on there it is. I 100% the uh, Sly 1 game in uh, about 4 hours and 12 minutes. Which I think is pretty cool. And how the hell do I get out of there? Oh, I get it. I need to not get hit by that log, but I need to go on here. Okay, another inch. Oh, thing is, ouch! Man, I'm so distracted that I can't even do good gameplay. There's one on top of that house. Yeah, I've never really read a manga before, despite all the anime I've watched. Ah, I just never really got into it, or comic books that matter. Oh, yeah. That back there was uh, a loot. It's the uh, collectible plate. It's in front of that cabin. Oh. I'm gonna get this thing. There we go. No, 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 not that. Light. Another, uh, I guess, kind of cool thing about me is I'm a. When it comes to Sony games, I'm bit of a platinum enthusiast, as in I try very hard to get the platinum trophy. Or the games I have, for PS3 and PS4. I don't have all of them as platinum, because there's a few trophies I just can't seem to get for set games. And maybe in a discussion video I'll go into detail about it, but currently I have about, I think, in the 40s 
platinum trophies. And majority of them are pretty easy platinums to get. So don't be put down too much. And I need to get that clue without being alerted. Fair. Get this one. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Hey, whoa, what the heck? Oh, come on! Okay, um... Another thing, I'm allergic to cats. So I can't really be around cats. Oh, another thing I should mention is, like, um... I'll try not to repeat information I've said in previous videos. And apparently I can't jump again. Uh, I'm so happy you didn't notice me. Until now. See, so yeah, if I'm in the same room with a cat for maybe an hour, my eyes will bug. I'll feel it a little bit itchy. And of course, sneezing my brains out. Uh, not exactly fun. And while growing up, I was a very mature kid. There's a lot of things I didn't do that were very immature. Um, such as... I don't know. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> I can't really think of what would be described as immature, at least at the time for children. So I guess name calling, I suppose, or the whole... Nana 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 thing, I guess. I don't know. I never, was never really into, into that. Another thing is, uh, the Jade Decanter is right in front of John Bassan's house down there. Actually, and I think there's a clue down there. Yeah, right next to his house. Go away, duck! Looking for other clue bottles. Whoops! Who wants to bet I'm gonna die and have to leave the lighthouse, the lighthouse safe house again? Oh, I know where a couple are, I think. Oh, I gotta wait for that log. Is there any around here? Yeah, there's one up there. Leave me alone! I'm an innocent bystander! As I was saying, a cool thing about me is I have a very high amount of threshold of patience. What the? Oh, it's here. Yeah, no. So I think that's a cool thing. Uh, there's, the only exception is I don't have very high patience for stupidity and arrogance. Those seem to bypass my patience pretty well. Other than that, it takes a lot to uh, bother me or even get under my skin. Which I think is pretty, pretty cool. I think my secret is growing up, I thought everything as uh, tedious. So in order to become the master of tedious, treat everything as tedious. Or something like that. Another thing you want to know is there's actually a clue bottle on the very tip top of this lighthouse. So that's where I go right now. While we're over here. Uh, one more thing is uh, I can't stand blueberries. My father got the idea of that blueberries would um, make the child smarter during the pregnancy. He was right, of course, but for those nine months, it was not the blueberry pancakes for breakfast. Every day. So the three of us can't stand blueberries anymore. Which is why he didn't do that for the second kid. <laughs> Which leads to another thing. I have a brother who's about nine, and I have a sister who's about 12 right now. <laughs> Next year she's going to be a teenager. That's a scary thought. Okay, there's the Jeweled Chalice Loot is located on top of this lighthouse right here. Uh, my genre in films is horror. I tend to enjoy a lot of horror films. But the sad thing is, there hasn't really been that many good ones as of late. I think Unfriended comes out in like next month, which might be interesting. And of course, they're redoing Poltergeist, which might be kind of interesting. 
And I don't know where the last ten are, which is quite sad. He still hits me. Jeez. Okay, where do I need to go now? Oh, we haven't been back here yet, have we? Uh, there's none on the ice out of here. Okay, there's one right there. I think my favorite horror genre film is like, probably would be the remake of House on Haunted Hill. I know, I just think it's kind of cool. Yeah, it is kind of bad, because it was made kind of bad, but still. And, uh, The Haunt... I was gonna say the ha remake of The Haunting, but never mind. 13 Ghosts is kind of cool. Wait, where am I going? Ah! Trying to get back up there. I would say my least favorite genre would be sci-fi. Only because of one thing. <clears throat> they have that whole trump card of they can do whatever the whatever they want and get away with it because it's sci-fi. That's the only reason I don't like it. So it, to me it does get kind of confusing. There are exceptions though. That, like uh, Lockout. It's a story about um, <clears throat> there's a space station prison and then the president's daughter is on there and there has to be a rescue. That kind of thing. So I know it's barely qualified as a sci-fi, but I think it's a pretty good. And who could forget Alien or Predator? My Disney, my favorite Disney film growing up was uh, The Great Mouse Detective. I, I thought there'd be a clue up here. What the fudge? Oh, good. there's one down right here. One thing you may have noticed is I don't exactly keep up with pop culture. I don't really have an interest in it. Oh, there's one nearby. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it just never really interests me. I don't know why. Try not to hate me for it. <laughs> Okay, there's one up there. There we go, there's one right here. My favorite food is pizza. I love pizza. Can't go wrong with pizza. And I, if I have a preference, I think it'd be Pizza Hut. Though honestly, I can eat a lot of different kinds of pizza. I think the most I've ever eaten was uh, two large, uh, yeah, about two mediums from Little Caesars. It was in one sitting too, so, and I was hungry at the time. <laughs> Is there another clue bottle around here? Guards. Uh, one time I played video games for about 50 ish hours straight. I took uh, breaks only to eat and use the restroom. I didn't sleep or anything like that. I didn't even take a timeout break, I just ate and used the restroom when I had to. And at the end of it, I just passed out. Completely uh, just passed out, that was it. I knew it! It was you who would have bet I died. You win the bet. <laughs> and actually, near the 50th hour, I was so out of it. You would probably would have thought I was high or something. There's a clue in nearby. Whoa! Give me a break! Where the heck is it? 
I think it's near. Is it on top? So we hope not. I don't even know if there's even a way to get up there. I'm going the wrong way. Enough with the. There's one nearby, I know it. I just don't know where. And this way? And this way. Oh, over there. Man, I'm stupid. Hey, we got four left around here. Okay. I think my high school trope at the time was uh, an outcast by choice. I was kind of like a little bit of everything, but didn't really fit in anywhere. I was a little bit of a... Technically a jog. I ran cross-country and track, even though that's not a great sport. I was a nerd. I got good grades. I was an anime fan, so I was kind of in that group. But not really. So I was more or less an outcast by choice. Which is actually quite interesting. If I would have a uh, power of my choice, I would pick um, Electrokinesis. And if you want well, to know what I mean, uh, play or watch in any of the Infamous games. And uh, also, um, you can watch Static Shock, uh, that TV show. And you might understand what, what I'm talking about. <laughs> Especially in this modern age. Yeah, there's three left somewhere. Oh, I think I know where my one one might be. Oh, there's one over there. Now I'm missing two. <laughs> Yippee. along that... Wait a second! <laughs> Trying to catch myself. I heard it. This way? Let's wait for a log. Oh, I see. It's on top of that house. I think. My favorite actor is, um, Jason Statham. He was in, uh... Transporter, um, Expendables, Death Race, Safe, Parker, so yeah, that guy. It's kind of like a, uh, old English badass, actually. Anyway. My favorite color is black. I usually like to wear black, so, which means I don't exactly like summer hot days, because, you know, black absorbs heat and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't think I was quote-unquote emo, I just like wearing black. At least at the time. Um, I think one of my catchphrases I like to say is, uh, don't trust the girl when pink. That's, uh, that doesn't apply to every, but every girl who wears pink, but, um... You know the movie, uh, Box Trolls, and there was that one girl who wore pink, and it was like into that whole, uh, bloody gore stuff, and there was that character bad girl in the No More Heroes game? So that's kind of like a couple examples of what I mean. Where the hell is this last clue? <laughs> I'll be hunting for it like crazy for a while. Uh, one funny thing I did is I actually bought Okami with the intention of playing it, but I never got around to it. It's still shit sitting on my shelf. I was considering getting to it uh, soon, but that usually happens. Oh, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, and I never get to it. I hear it. Oh, it's right there! Yay! 
Awesome! We got him. Let's just get to the wall. Whoops. I was kind of reading from my list. I kind of done that. <laughs> I think among the 155 games I have, I think I only continue to replay maybe a third of them. Which is weird. It's like, then why do you have the others? Because I can't really make a profit out of selling them. And eventually I go back to them. Uh, one, if, one day. Oh, come on! Eh! Uh, stupid buttons. Oh, there's a hook right here all along. Another thing is, um, I was born with hearing loss. Uh, my left ear doesn't work from nerve damage. This is there for show and for balance. Other than that, I can't really hear anything out of it. Maybe a jet, supposedly, which makes my right ear a little bit extra sensitive. I thought that was interesting. My favorite subject in school is like math and science, and my least favorite is uh, history and social studies. Only because I can never retain that kind of knowledge. Which keeps into another interesting idea is I have this weird memory skill, which I'll explain in a second. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, of course you do. then the combination has got to be 5, 8, 3. What was that? Anyway, we get lightning spin! Gadzooks, that's a nice one! Basically, it's an upgrade to voltage attack. Excuse me. We equip it and woohoo! We get to shock somebody silly. I wouldn't do it in here, but there's too many flashlight guards! So, I'll explain the uh, memory thing real quick. Um, basically, I have uh, my memory is can be super great in some areas, as in I'll remember every detail of a game or a film I've seen a long time ago, but I can't remember the name of someone I met yesterday. So I thought that was interesting. Anyway, um, thanks for joining me. In the next video, we will start Chapter 8. So until then, give me a thumbs up if you had fun. Sorry this hunt took so, so long, but I was completely lost. Anyway, huh. <laughs> Well, thanks for joining me. Please join me in the next video. This is Weedy Crusader, signing off. I will see you guys next time.